Hello, hello there, guys. Today we will be looking at the slippery slope as known as YouTube. With the YouTuber uh, I'll be using as an example, one who's got a lot of publicity, one might say, over the past year or two. And when I say publicity, I don't mean good publicity, I mean bad publicity. And that YouTuber is Nikocado Avocado. A few years ago, he was like this. He was a vegan mukbang YouTuber. He played violin. And now he can't even get out of his bed because uh, because his weight has disabled him and he needs a nurse to do day-to-day -day life. He went from this to this. Probably the weirdest thing. Yeah, this is him. This is him and his... Boyfriend, husband? I, I don't know. I don't know their exact relationship, but I know they are dating on some level. At least they used to be. I'm not sure if they ever broke up. Because they fight a lot. Anyways. And, like, this is them a few years ago. You know, perfectly healthy. This is them now. What happened to them? Oh, glad to see that they're asking the same question that I am. Why can't they break up? Mm -hmm. Ugh. A lot of food just makes me want to puke. Like, this actually looks like a pretty okay meal. But then there's this. Ugh. 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 Why does this make me feel so sick? Oh yeah, this video. I've seen this video. In his own words, it is your fault that I'm gaining weight. It's your fault for encouraging these kind of videos. And in a way, he's right. But here's the thing. There's more dislikes on your videos than likes. On most of your videos. Except for the really old ones, which are really nice. You know, where you'd play violin or do really small mukbangs. Oh yeah, and according to him, his scale is lying to him. To say, oh, oh, it's like, oh, there's so much we don't co comprehend. No, it's not lying to you. You're just really unhealthy. And like, in a way, yeah, he's correct. Because people are still watching his videos. If they stop watching, let him continue on his weight loss journey, because apparently he did lose a pound. But then people wanted him to make more videos, and he gained three. So he was a pound up from, and two pounds up from where he was before. Yep, this is the kind of thing that I was talking about between those two. So, this is what YouTube fame can do to somebody. They, they can go from super healthy, super kind super good overall person to a egocentric narcissistic jerk who, who refuses to take ownership for their own mistakes in their life. And that is what is known as the slippery slope of YouTube.